Hi everyone, this is Chris Roman from Newmark on Digital DJ Tips. We're here at Music Mesa 2012 and we're very excited to show off the IDJ Pro working. As we talked about at NAMM, the IDJ Pro is your full featured, fully capable, fully integrated iPad control system. So the iPad slides right in, it works with the iPad 1, 2 and the new iPad. And it works with Algorithms DJ. Algorithm created this version of DJ to allow you to fully DJ using the cloud, use everything that's integrated inside your iPad, and do all the things you normally want to be able to do as a full DJ. You can crossfade, of course. You can go find a new song, throw it up on a deck. Mix it together. Now that's the simple stuff. What's really cool is the fact that you can go through and do multiple effects at the same time. So I can select an effect over here, play like the flanger, all right? And now I can activate it, adjust the parameter of that. You can add filtering to that. And I can also add an echo to it by using the touch screen. Some of the other cool features are the looping features. So you have your basic looping, of course. So in, out. And as you can see, it set it up there on the screen. Cut it in half. Something else that you can do is you can set up an automatic loop. So say I want to have a, a full measure loop. I just hit, hit the plus button. You notice over here it changed to be a four in the display. Now I'm going to hit auto. There's your measure. Release it. And of course you can also stutter. So by holding the shift button right here, and by hitting one of the buttons up here, you'll be able to do a stutter. I'm going to put the microphone down as I do that. If you're a scratch guy, scratching is super tight. You're able to set your multiple cue points. And of course on this DJ application you'll notice that there's little dots there basically based upon where your cue points are. Inside the application you're going to get some gain control. So that's your pre-game control, and you also have volume control. By using the knob. Inside the application, this is where people are going to start getting a little bit interested, of course, in what, what goes on here. So inside the application, you have a lot of different settings and options available to you. You have the standard ones that Algorithm has. In addition to that, there's certain some very specific MIDI, op MIDI options as well. For instance, you have the ability to change your cross -fader, fader cut to be a cut style. So it's super tight. If you're a scratch DJ, you might appreciate the hamster option as well. There are other additional options which are always available inside DJ. Analyzing options and various other options. And the software continues to expand as new iOS has come out to give more capabilities to the application. You can zoom in and out of displays, of course. You have key lock. You can change your display time. And of course, as far as changing other things on here, you can change your effects. Typical the way you do it in DJ right now. Uh, 
On the front panel, we have your microphone input as well as your auxiliary input with EQing and volume control. And of course, you have your headphone output right here. Your headphone goes, or your headphones go in here. So you have both a mini and a quarter inch blending and volume control. And on the back panel, we have our balanced outputs, as well as our standard output. And of course, as we mentioned previously at NAMM, that when you have an iPad integrated with all of this, you have the ability to have things like Bluetooth wireless technology to be able to stream directly to your Alto wireless Bluetooth speakers. You also have access to the web at all times, which is the beauty of using an iPad in a situation like this, because now it's fully integrated. You don't find yourself looking at a screen up here. And when you have the iPad integrated, you have access to the internet, so you have access to the cloud, you have access to other music that you might not have in here, so you're never without a song that's asked for. So this is the IDJ Pro. We're very excited. We have it working here at Music Mesa 2012, and it'll be delivered later this year.